Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Hi, Eugene. How are you? How are you doing, Deidre? <laughs> good. Good. I'm doing good. Um, you are the maker of romance. You are the maker of uh, this wonderful movie. And I'm just wondering, um, it has this jazz and music backdrop that you are so familiar with because of your professional background. I wanted to know if you could talk about the story you wanted to tell. Yeah, I mean, I just really wanted to kind of evoke the nostalgia of the era and do it in a way that wasn't focused or framed on our adversity or our trauma during the time. Uh, obviously, we all know what was going on at the time, but there was also some really fantastic, I look at photographs of people in my family from that time. I look at album covers of people like Nancy Wilson and Sarah Vaughn, and it's like, hey, this is telling a little different story than we're used to seeing from this time. So I really wanted to kind of get in there and investigate it a little bit and ultimately tell a story about um, you know, the love of your life and how it affects you, you know, when you find that person and if you don't wind up together, what happens and the repercussions it has in your life. Yeah, yeah, well, you did a really great job of that. I think at the end there, uh, there's a tribute to uh, Diane Carroll, I believe, and Doris right. Day and, and of course, um, uh, Barbara. Uh, the great Nancy Wilson. I mean, Nancy, yeah, Nancy Wilson. Yeah, yeah. You know, Barbara McNair from that period. <laughs> yeah, I love Barbara McNair too, that's true. But uh, those, yeah. three, those three ladies all passed away in 2019, and that was the reason for the dedication. They uh -huh. basically, all three waited for me to finish the movie, and then they, and then they left me. They were my spirit guides throughout the uh, entire process, because they have all been in some way involved in, in this. This movie could not exist without those three women, you know, in some way. Okay. And uh, going back again to the music, uh, because of your background and everything, um, were there any particular things that you put in that would be a signature for you as director? Um, you mean uh, musically? Yes. Yeah, I really am a, a very big fan of those sweeping lush soundtracks you know a lot of stuff was, is done uh electronically and this yeah. was recorded with a 50 55 piece orchestra uh with the great composer Fabrice Lecomte so you know I'm a very big fan of um Elmer Bernstein and Harry Mancini and all of these you know big sweeping soundtracks that we get in movies like The Way We Were Mahogany you know, think about those, you know, that that's that's what I wanted to. So music and really getting it right. Also, the jazz tunes, the original jazz tunes really sound like something from the period. They don't just sound like, you know, some kind of like corny jazz. So I wanted to make sure because I'm a nerd about that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're giving me like the, the less time and stuff. So I guess I'll I'll let you go, but uh, I appreciate it. I'm actually getting out of here on time because I want to ask more, but I'm going to do that. Uh, I appreciate speaking with you and I enjoyed the film. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. You too. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.